Here we are. The Eorzean Aquarium. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people here, and it's just that uh, my internet's real bad these days. So it is loading in. Oh, I can't see any their name. Who is this? Nice. What does this say? Welcome to All Tanks Wake 2023. Please head into chat with our suspects. Some unlucky souls are back again. Determine their alibi. Prove or disprove their alibi and locate the Ignis Horn print. Once you have found the print, you have and have a suspect in mind. Please return outside and head to the counter. To the left of the gate. Whisper a volunteer at the prize counter and they will tell you if you're right or wrong and hand you a reward if correct. Bum bum bum. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess everyone's inside. It's also possible that just people aren't loading in, but if that was the case, then this fine individual would have not loaded in. Oh, well actually this person just loaded in too, so yes, actually, um, I am having trouble loading people in. Which is not a great sign for um, my ability to participate in the event, unfortunately, but we will see how it goes. Alright. Where do we want to go? I don't, I don't know. Are folks just around? I feel like last time there was information, so maybe... Oh, hello. Ah, Jeweled Carp is saying something. Hello! You must be here for the investigation. I'll answer any question you have to the best of my ability. Hi. Hi, honestly, I'm just not sure where to start. Can you tell me what's happened and where I can find the suspects? I'm sure they'll take a second to type, so... You know, uh, this is also not probably their job. They probably are one of the suspects, I would imagine, but I don't actually know what's going on. <laughs> ah, well, here's as good a place as any. I'm one of the suspects. Okay, that makes sense to me. Uh, cool. Okay, what should I ask? Ah, besides that, there's a suspect in the Fish of Mordona, the Shark Tank Room, and one in the Favner Room 2. Beautiful. I'm just going to screenshot that in case I need to find that information again. Thank you. As for what happened, I wish I could tell you exactly what happened, but I wasn't there to witness it. All I know is that the print of an Ignis Horn snail was stolen. The curator, Inisa, I believe, is taking questions in the Mollusk Expedition Room. Ah! Yes! Oh, thank you, there. That is perfect. I'll probably be back soon, but before I go, do you know why you are considered a suspect? Okay, so the Mollusk Expedition Room. I haven't really seen the Mollusk Expedition. Um, I remember hearing about that, but I hadn't really been logging into uh, Final Fantasy XIV for a while, and uh, I had not, you know, I, I, I hadn't taken the time to do it. I was busy with other things. I was in the Mollusk Expedition Room before the crime was committed. I was coincidentally trying to research Ignis Snails for my job. That's probably something to do with it. Thank you so much. I will be back later. No reason not to be cordial. Ah! I keep doing that. I keep pressing the uh, middle mouse button to try to turn the camera because I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Alright, where's the expedition room? Is it one of the last ones? Because it's relatively recently added, right? Yes! Expedition Mollusk. Very good. Alright, we're off to a start. Okay. Oh, there's people in here. Who do we have? We've got, um, you sound like a real person, Riku Mist Warden. And I apparently can't. Oh, that's a, that's a, okay, I see. Oh, let's take a look at the book. Oh, Riku Mist Warden. Is there any items there that seem out of place? Maybe we in front. Also, hello, I'm Riku. Oh, wait. Oh, there's Inisa. Okay, great. 
I'm gonna take a look at this book first, just because I've never actually been in here. This place is lovely. This journal serves as documentation of the first survey of its kind, examining the recording of the Molluscans of Eorzea. Reads oldest to newest. Oh, wow! Oh, that's so cool, actually. They used their own message book for additional text. Has my chocobo set foot outside? One, 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 two. Right, because they actually updated this, like, every day. Like, this was back in January. I just, like, didn't get around to it at the time. Oh, that's so cool. Right, it was, like, an actual, like, expedition, like, documentation from the course of, of January. Oh, that's so rad. Oh, and, and into February, too. Wow. Huh. Oh, right too soon. Uh, very cool. All right. Let's catch up on what uh, the conversation they've been having was. I might as well just use their questions. Any items here that seem out of place or missing besides the print? Also, hello, I'm Riku. This table has been moved significantly far, and my tomes, my precious research, research notes, all over the floor. Is this your coconut drink? The inspector said there was someone of interest in room 6, but I'm not entirely sure of the details. Ah, that is my coconut snail. Is that also your black paint? Yes, it is what I use to create the prints. Interesting. Wait, so that's this this coconut is a snail? That's amazing. That's so good. I really like that. That's lovely. So I didn't mean to cross the line. My mistake. Uh cool. Very cool. All right. So. Oh, I see. They got very sad. Hello. I have just arrived and was told I could find you here. I was hoping you could fill me in on what is known about the case so far. I feel like I need some place to stand. I'm feeling very short right now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I see that you're bummed, but also hi. My precious Ignis horn print. Stolen. Taken. O oh, twelve, have mercy. Clutches his head dramatically before you. <laughs> so dramatic. And then hangs his head. <laughs> right. <laughs> Needs to turn that one back on. That's that's great. Okay, let's see. What can I ask? Hmm. I've heard there are a number of suspects in other rooms. Are they suspects of yours or the uh, legendary uh, do you know how they came to be uh, considered suspects? Uh, who did I meet again? I met Jeweled Carp. Jeweled Carp said they were researching Ignis snails for their job. Okay. I met Jeweled Carp, who told me they had, they were, Researching um, Ignis snails, snails for their research. As a fellow academic, are you aware of what their research involves? 
I know not the details. I have been out examining a new species all this time, you see. Ah, okay. I think this is a good question, right? Because they're like, I'm an academic. And that's like, basically, everyone has... The way they did it last year is basically everyone, if you say, what's your alibi, they'll give you an alibi, and then you just try to, like, confirm or deny their alibi. That's basically the whole thing. I super overthought it last year. Um... Their field is yet unknown to me, but I am glad that my precious Ignis snails are, is of interest to them. Okay. Interesting. I need to uh, question them further on their field. Thank you so much. Don't worry too much. I will help you find your print. Slash salute. Is that a is that a thing? Okay. Let's go! <laughs> I don't know what room I'm going to, actually. Um, I, I, was it, was it this one? Yeah, room six. All right. Hello. Again. I was asking. I just got back from speaking with. What is it? Inis. 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 Inisa? Something like that? Ah. Oh well, that's a bit awkward, but I suppose I have to disclose my clear name. See, we are divorced. Oh, okay. I, I've got. I walked into a different investigation. Uh, that's cool. So we got in an argument about the divorce since it wasn't exactly an amicable proceeding. I'm sorry to have walked in on this. I feel like now I want to ask, like, oh, what are you talking about? But, like, I don't want to just make them repeat themselves. Uh. Shiro Kamado wants to interject. I don't know which of this is. Yeah. Uh, did, did I have anything with me in the room with me? Well, uh, I feel like I'm missing parts of this conversation. Ah, Shiro Kamado. We were just in room 8, talking to Finn. Okay, I haven't talked to Finn yet. He said he met you in the lobby around the time the print went missing. He mentioned nothing of an argument and said you even offered to help him carry his documents. What is your response to that? Uh, Julie Karp says, uh, to the previous question, I think, I did have one thing with me in the room, but it's a bit dot dot dot. Hmm. Oh no, they buried their face. And there's a car outside. <laughs> Riku says, oh, I won't judge. So, see, I have this bear that I keep with me everywhere. His name is Tedis. I was cuddling with him to cool off. When the chaos broke out, I stuffed him away in the prism room. Well, we'll have to take a look at the prism room. Interesting. Looks away and panics. I hope he's okay. Hmm. You put him in the room. I will go investigate. Okay, thank you. I won't share your secret. Well, we'll certainly have to take a look at that, even though I don't know what they're talking about exactly. Definitely not with this full room of people listening to us. <laughs> Maybe I should come back and talk later. I did offer to carry his books. That was actually the source of the argument. Okay, so they're talking about stuff that I don't really know anything about, so I think I'll come back later. Look at all these people! Beautiful. Let's start by checking out that prism room, just so I can, like, can confirm the teddy is there. Okay. Oh, I, I, I did not mean to leave. Very good. Where is Inspector Red Herring, anyway? Because three snacks are right over there. Uh, prism room. Is the prism room the pr prism lake? Yes. 
I would assume so. I don't know where this Tedis is. These are sparkly, dang. That's just how those look. I don't remember that. What is this scroll? Is this always here? I legit don't know what is always anywhere. So someone in that room mentioned, oh, hey, I can confirm it's there, which is curious. Because I'm not seeing it, but that doesn't mean it's not here. It also might mean that I'm in the wrong room. But, I mean, what other room is the prison room? Then again, stashed does kind of imply, you know, hidden. So hard to say. Hmm. Ah! I have found the stashed Tedis. Can I get a better look at it? Yep. Go take a look. Alright, so Tedis is there. Or at least a teddy bear. But I want to take a look at some of the other rooms. Now, I don't remember exactly where everyone is. Um, they told me. I know one of them said they were at the shark tank. So let's go to the shark tank. Shark encounter. I, 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 someone's here. Oh, you're very cool. Big fish of a nuki. You seem like a real person, but very cool. Um, I do love her for it, though. Showers cheese with affection. What? You look like you might be a person. You're also a big fish. What about you? Oh, you just have a name. You're probably... Ah, Aquarium Suspects. Oh, cool! I didn't know they did that. Oh, that's actually rad. That's very, very convenient. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? Thanks for your cooperating. Alright, I'm getting nowhere with Carp and the mopey divorcee. What are you in here for? Hmm. I'm just gonna say hi. Slash wave. Hello. <laughs> Bows in greeting. And some other some other folks hanging out. <sighs> Finn said he and Jeweled Carp were a thing but now aren't a thing, and that's why they were fighting. Hmm. Ha! Wow, what a stagger. Look at that. This is great. Finn and Jeweled are fighting, but their marriage seemed so lovely. Hmm. I don't care about that. That doesn't seem important to me. Um, my name is... Ah, very good. And I am a Charlian theologist. Very good. Uh, you may call me Mako if you like. Very good. As everyone seems to struggle pronouncing my full name. Hmm, fair enough. The forum employs me to study the biology, nature, and habitats of sharks in the hopes of better understanding their role in nature, as well as their use in society. Okay, Thresh. So, where were you when the snail thingy was stolen? I went to Ocean Fishing 2, that's one of the rooms, in order to investigate this pog shark I've heard so much about. That was where I was when the crime was reported. By the by, why is it called a pog shark? I don't know. I mean, I do, but I'm ignoring it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Was anyone with you or saw you entering? Ocean fishing does tend to be rather crowded. Surely you had people see you. I have seen all of the suspects around the aquarium, but not in Ocean Fishing too. Ah, I journeyed to Eorzea by way of the forum in order to inspect Inisa's work here at the Eorzea Aquarium. I was originally hoping to keep a low profile, but once a crime was reported, I knew there was no point in trying to keep my purposes here secret. After all, it was possible that Inisa or Finn would recognize me, as I knew them both. In passing, back in Charlian. Oh, I have not met Finn yet. Hmm. It is understandable that Inspector Red Herring decided that made me a suspect for the theft. It is understandable 
I don't understand. However, I am not some criminal. This fox is adorable, I must say. That's a carbuncle. If I may, you saw all the suspects. Where were they all in most recent memory to when the crime was reported? Hmm. I don't know if that's relevant. Maybe it is? I'm bad at this, is what I learned from last year. Like, very bad at this. I'm gonna take a look at the funnel shark. Well, I don't know if I do want to just look at the funnel shark. Like, okay. I'm gonna scroll back through this conversation a bit. Because I kind of was like, let's start at the beginning again. And, like, they were already talking about something when I came in. Uh, do, 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 do. Finn and Jeweled are fighting. Their marriage seems so lovely. As for me, my name is... Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. You may call me Mako. Um, you're here to study sharks. What were you even doing? Why were you looking at Enis's research? Employs me to study the biology, nature, and habitats of sharks in the hopes to better understand their role in nature as well as their use to society. I went to ocean fishing too in order to investigate this hog shark I've heard so much about. That was where I was when the crime was reported. By the way, why is it called a pong shark? Huh. I saw Finn in the lobby. Jeweled, jeweled carp, was in the prism lake room, if I remember correctly. Margaret harassed me in saltwater Norvond. The only one I spoke to was Margaret. What do you, what do you speak to them about? Um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to quickly, um, take a look at the, Sorry, I wasn't reading my, 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 my typing around. I'll read it when I'm done. Before I post that, I'm going to actually read this text. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What do you speak to them about? I was explaining the difference between funnel sharks and basking sharks. To another guest there, and Margaret overheard. She then begged me to sell her a pog shark. When I told her that the one I had studied belonged to the forum, they did not deter her. Of the suspects, Margaret seemed by far the most suspicious to me. Her behavior struck me as shady enough that I could see her being some sort of criminal. Have you noticed anything missing from possession since the crime occurred? Wow. Uh, trying to, thank you. Well, I've lost my scarf. I believe I took it off while inspecting the funnel shark, and I may have accidentally left it there in all of the commotion. If you find it, would you mind returning it to me? I've been asked to stay here until the crime has been solved. Understandable. Thank you for your time. I'm going to take a quick look at room five, but I'm sure I will be back. Allow me to leave you with this question, though. What interest do you have in Inessa's work when your field is on sharks? This might be one of those questions that they don't have a, a script answer for, and I'm going to make them waste their time. Sorry. <laughs> It really is an impressive, like, thing they've put together, right? Because it's all these, like, answers that they've, like, copied and pasted. The form asked me to check in on his progress. But I will admit, I was curious about how he was doing on his own without their backing. Unfortunately, my project has been receiving far less funding recently, and I have been 
have been having the hardest time finding gleaners who are still willing to assist now that the forum is no longer incentivizing them. Frankly, I have no intention of letting that stop me. Thank you. So you might imagine Ines's work here is of interest to me personally as well. Thank you. Slash wave. Let's go take a look at the sharks. All right, I'll leave these t people to investigate on their own. I prefer not to just do only overlooking, or like only overhearing other investigators' conversations. It feels weird. Um, so I heard it was, ah, hello. So they said they dropped their scarf. It seems like that's the main way of like proving or disproving an alibi is by, uh, oh, I'm clipping through the ceiling, is by, um, being like, did you leave something there? And they go, yes. And then that's the thing. It The, the, the ceiling here. Mm. All right. It is a lovely room, but also... Where would they have left this scarf? Oh, that's cool. You can see Castle Soul out there. That's fun. All right. Uh, there is a... What the heck? Why is that in there? What? Wait a minute. Is that from a previous event that I missed or something? What? What? Why? Why? I might have to ask them about that. Um. Because I I don't see their scarf. Which leads them to seem like they don't have a strong alibi. They can't prove their, you know, presence there. So maybe I can catch them and, like, ask them if they saw anything regarding the funnel shark itself. Because you, you're not going to not notice this. So maybe they were never here. Mm -hmm, maybe. I'm actually going to go back to um, uh, Inissa. And see if blows the sewer skink a kiss. Is someone here named the sewer skink? Oh, hello. It's our good friend. The local authorities put them in rooms 6, 8, 24, and 28. Oh, lovely. Very cool. Hello again. You're welcome to question them. However, you want to say an alibi, so be sure to verify it. He asks if there is any you particularly suspect. Are all of them equally suspect? Hello again, Inis. Sa. I was speaking to Mako. Who mentioned in passing that you two have a bit of a history. Could you shed some light on that subject? Question mark? Ines has unfortunately become so distraught they are unable to answer. <laughs> Why are you a, 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 a rabbit? Do you know if there how it might have been anything in the back of the picture. Anything of interest? Oh, that's an interesting question. Where is our friend here? There they are. Miko attended many of Enos's lectures and engaged in them some way. But really, Miko's relationship was mostly just to keep up what Enos was working on. Hmm. Well, it seems... Hmm... Their interest feels suspect to me. Oh, on the back of the picture, that's an interesting question. I believe it so said there was that on the back was Ignis Horn caught, and then a date that was smeared, as their field was um, seems largely unrelated. 
He smeared it, of course, because he was so moved by the print that it brought him to tears. Mostly, their interest um, involved competitive funding. But unless the print was worth was valuable or a ransom was involved which so far I believe is not the case why They would be interested. Well, there's a prized print of Enos, so the value there was priceless. That mostly the interest involved competitive funding, but unless the print was valuable or a brand ransom. <sighs> hmm. Innes recently found a lot of success and funding here, the aquarium. A double win for a Charlian scholar. No, he had no enemies. All right. All right. Onward. Um. Oh, for you to see, I would return to where Mako said they were at the scene of the crime. Knock on that tree and see what falls out. Slash salute. Ah, okay. Move to specified private chambers. This become distraught. They become catatonic. Uh, all right, we need to go to room five, the ocean fishing part two. Very good. The tree. The tree? I don't see a tree. Maybe this is not the room that they were referring to. Maybe it's somewhere else. I'm going to have to go back and talk to them again, I think. That's not literal. That's probably just not literal. I'm going to go and find Mako. Do I remember what room Mako was in? Oh, right, yes. Uh, Shark. Shark Tank. I don't see a scarf. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's busy in here. For instance, the Titanic sawfish is one of several species of shark, terrifying enough to single handedly destroy ships at sea. One once ripped a hundred man galleon in two with its sawhead. Uh, sorry, I forgot myself. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I last remember taking it off because I was too warm while inspecting the funnel shark. Wondering if you noticed anything per peculiar about the funnel shark exhibit while you were there. Uh, Cherry Pie says, back to the topic at hand, did you see anyone leaving Ocean Fishing 2 before you entered the exhibit yourself? Oh, very cool. Ocean Fishing 2 is a popular exhibit on account of the Pog Shark, but I did not see any of the other suspects there. I feel like I'm throwing them a curveball and I've apologized. It's got a pudding in its mouth. That's not my fault. I don't want to say it though. Hmm, no, I went there specifically to make sure that it was a regular funnel shark and came to the conclusion that that was the case. Interesting. Thank you. Ah, uh, hmm. Flash think. Hmm. I'm doing a think. I'm a thinking at you. <laughs> hmm. You were looking for the shark during the time of the theft, then. All right. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Is that? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. We got ourselves. That's great. <laughs> Look at these two. Yeah. 
<laughs> Very cool. All right. So I again, I I don't know what all the different places that they're in were. I might have to. That is correct. Yes, I'm just thinking of leaving when the crime was reported. All right, I'm gonna actually head back. I think to um this one. Hello again. I was uh, I asked. I actually really enjoyed like reporting to the inspector. Like that's very fun. I asked Mako about the the funnel shark and if they noticed anything of interest the fact that they um didn't mention the surprising Pudding I saw in its mouth gave me pause. Do you know if that would have been something they would have seen? Uh, I'm simply worried that uh, I may be taking note of something unrelated to the case. <laughs> I just, I feel like maybe that's not something I'm supposed to care about. Just come on, let me know. <laughs> It makes me wonder if they were really there at all. Why was there pudding in its mouth? <laughs> is that an Easter egg? <laughs> or like, is that relevant? <laughs> hmm. They were warm. They may have been focusing on finding a place to cool off. That's true. That's, that's, hmm, okay. They may have been very protective of the scarf and wanted to make sure it was put someplace clean. Okay, I see you're giving me hints. I was just actually asking. Um, thank you, Inspector. All right, <laughs> we're gonna try this again. Ah, uh, funnel shark. That's shark. Uh, it's five. We're still fishing two. Yes. So they were here, right? And they wanted to find someplace clean. And they wanted to cool off. Now I feel like why is there pudding in its mouth? Like I'm not wrong about this, right? Is this where they said they were? when it happened or not. They said they wanted someplace clean and someplace cool. And this is not exceptionally clean or cool in my opinion. They said they intentionally took it off. They took it off, they placed it somewhere clean. Um, assuming it's here at all, which again, like it's really hard to prove uh, a negative. Let's zoom into first person view. Get a good look see at this place. See, maybe it wasn't this room. Maybe they were somewhere else. Can I slide in here? I used to be able to do that. I don't remember how. Or maybe it got better. <laughs> That's also possible. Namazu! Okay. If I was in this room and I wanted to take my scarf off and put it somewhere, where would I go? Uh, 
Might have to go talk to them again. Maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I should talk to one of the other. I haven't talked to Finn at all. I don't know who Finn is yet. I mean, it's certainly not like, oh, it's up here in the ceiling. That that would be silly. That's not the point. All right, let's move to the specified private chambers. Uh, da, 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 shark encounter. You know, let me let me check out Ocean Fish One, just like in case. Just just in case. Because presumably, in the, like, narrative, this is right next door, right? Like, presumably? Like, is this their scarf? Probably not, but maybe. Uh, I might have to ask them to describe their scarf, because that might be it. The thing is, like, I don't know if that's always there. I haven't been here recently, so I'm not actually sure, like... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back to... Ocean Fishing 2, and check the mouth again. Do you think he got stuffed in the mouth? I feel like that could happen, so. There's also this, um, this banner here, but I don't think that's anything. No, it's not stuffed in their mouth. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna go, and I'm going to talk to our good friend once more in the Shark X Encounter exhibit. Hello. Hello again. There we go. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about... Wait, by light blue do they mean the scarf? If they were asking the scarf's color and I'm just asking it again immediately, that's going to feel very silly, but oh well. Saw her in the prism lake room but did not speak to her. Okay. I wonder if you could tell me anything about your scarf's appearance. I went looking for it and did not find anything. However, I thought it might be possible it was left in a near by room instead and upon checking ocean fishing one we found a mannequin wearing a scarf however i'm not sure if that man mannequin always wears that scarf or not. Our friends here, our, our Scooby gang, uh, have asked about Jeweled Carp. Uh, what do you know? Not much. I have never personally met her. However, I know she is Finn's wife and have seen pictures of their wedding through a mutual friend. I don't really want to interrupt with my, like, question about the scarf. Um, they seem like they're talking about something. And maybe it's possible that someone else already snagged the scarf is the thing, right? Uh, based on what, this doggy, based on what um, Fruity Snacks mentioned, it made me wonder if, I assume they were here on a date, since I saw that they were both here at the same time. That's fair. I'm curious, an aquarium date seems like a lovely idea. Look at you. Oh, that guy. That guy's got some slamming sticks. Dang. Boop. I saw both Jeweled and Finn while exploring the aquarium exhibits. Thank you for your time, Macro. Okay. I feel like I interrupted, but, you know, they seem to be about done now. Slash wave. Hello. <laughs> I keep throwing these balls at them. I haven't even talked to the others yet. It's possible that someone else went into that room and took the scarf. I don't know. But based on what Fruity's saying, which really shouldn't be something I'm weighing in because, you know, the investigation's on the way. It's underway, I mean to say. 
I do not know how my scarf would possibly wind up on a mannequin. I would expect it to be on the floor or in a nook somewhere. Really? You didn't uh, take it off with care and put it down somewhere specific. I thought, did you drop it? I was under the impression you took it off because of the heat. I forgot to pick it back up again. What does your scarf look like? What color is it? <laughs> Tell me what color your scarf is. I'm so confused. Ah, uh, that's correct. I took off the scarf because it was too warm. Then the crime was reported and the chaos. I must have left it there in Ocean Fishing 2. Okay. Well, if you took it off, where would you have placed it then? Understandable that you might have forgotten to pick it up again. Do you recall uh, where you put it down? However, as of the scarf, I assume it would be near the funnel shark, but I do just do not know for sure. All right. Thank you. I will look again, but its absence is making me wonder. You're so cool. <laughs> All right. I don't recall where Finn is. I'll have to ask somebody, which is fine. I can always go back and ask Fruity, which is excellent. Uh, I'm hoping to get this answer because I'm also curious about this. Yes, actually. Funnel sharks are known to eat a wide range of food and will swallow just about anything. Okay. There you go. I didn't want to mention it specifically, but that was on me. I was playing coy, and this is, this is not that kind of investigation, I suppose. All right, near the funnel shark. I mean, this is not a this is not a scarf, right? But he didn't describe what the like scarf was. Like, I, he didn't tell me what the scarf actually looked like. Let us double check. They said. As the scarf, I assume it would be near the funnel shark, but I just do not know for sure. I don't know. I'm suspicious of them. I think I should investigate someone else. For the time being. If I can prove everyone else's alibi, then then it's this then it's this one. So maybe I'm overthinking this. I don't know, I don't see anything. But like someone's gotta be telling the the, the lie, right? So why, why am I so, so trying to, like, find the answer? You know what I mean? Hey, is there always a print back here? Wait a minute. Uh, we have our suspicions, but we are confirm a few things. Yes, based on images of the exhibit before the crime, this was here. Oh, drat. All right, thank you. Hi, I noticed that too. Hmm, I would need to confirm that with some images. I don't think I've reviewed Ocean Vision 2. Fair enough. Yes. Scarf. I have still yet to find... But I suppose anyone could have picked it up by now. Yes, a scarf I have yeah, still yet to find, but I suppose anyone could have picked it up by now. <sighs> the leaves are pointing to the same room. I have still yet to speak with all the suspects. Do you know what room Finn can be 
found in. A preemptive thank you. <laughs> uh, if it is being held in Mordona room, room 8, I believe. Thank you. Alright. On my way. Move to specify private chambers. I'm moving to room 8. Very good. See an archer, Finn, aquarium suspects. All right. Hello, Finn. Is it? I have heard others mention your name, but I know nothing of you, really. How have you come to be involved here? I don't know why I decided to sit down. I just did, okay? Don't, don't worry about it. Look at my little kickies. I'm kicking. I was delivered some research documents on behalf of my coworker who couldn't make it today. Oh, you're a last minute fill-in? Are you? Maybe. I can't tell. Possible. Maybe. Hard to say. They're not doing the shout thing, so I'm a little bit confused, but... Well, they were shouting earlier, right? Yeah, no, okay. Hmm. Huh, that's weird. I was delivering some research documents on behalf of my coworker who couldn't make it today. Mm-hmm. I'd love to... Um, really get into the research and the documents, but I fear I should probably not dally. As such, may I be blunt and ask you where you were when the um, estimated time of the crime took place. I'd love to really get into the research and the documents, but I fear I should probably not dally as such. May I be blunt and ask you where you were when the estimated time of the crime took place? Look at me just like, do 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 do. <laughs> I'm adorable. I was in the old Charlian room, room 25. Oh, cheese's owner. Has a yellow carbuncle, loves sharks. What about his coworker who couldn't make it also? No, that, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. I mean, it may, might be something. I don't know. So someone asked about Marco. Um, yes, yes. I do know of him. We went to the studium together occasional class or two with each other. Okay. Great. You likely also know the victim Inis Sa. Correct? <laughs> oh. How dare you? <laughs> yes, I do. We worked on a few projects together and finished at least one. My coworker is a cataloger with the Sons of St. Clinock. He's responsible for the supplies and information there. But he was quite busy, so I was sent instead. Interesting. Um, can you think of anything that could place you at the old Charlian? room or someone who could verify your presence there. Did you know Jude Carp would be here today? Not at all. She surprised me. Cool. Anything of anything that could place you at the old Charlie room or someone who could verify your presence there. Yeah, sorry. Feel free to finish um, asking about Jude Carp. I didn't think she'd like fish, but it seems be another job of hers, of hers. Okay. Sure. 
I don't care about that. This seems like a B plot that like is not. I, I'm here to solve a crime. I'm 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 on the case. <laughs> I just love that I'm just doing constant little kickies. It's so funny. Well, I did trip on a bunch of tomes on the way in. Look at me, I'm adorable. I love me. I'm great. Dropped all of my research documents. How interesting. Well, that's no good. Um, did you say you were... My coworker is a cataloger. He's responsible for supplies. I was on Charlie room 25. Uh, Delivering documents. Oh, well, actually. That's no good. You said you were delivering them? Who to? Or was the room the destination? There is someone that Mako said that they spoke with, so I do want to talk to them, but I don't remember their name. It was like Margaret or something. Just the room. It had all the bookshelves of other information after all. Thank you. I'll need to in see what I can find. Anything hmm, noteworthy. Uh, anything identifying to find about the documents. Big classified classified stamps or something. <laughs> Uh, Baku says, did you have any classified information on the research documents? <laughs> Slash laugh. <laughs> Big red classified stamps. <laughs> Some may have seals, yes. Some are just plain papers with dense writing. Thank you for your time. I'm sure I'll be back with more questions eventually. And I'm off. It was 25, I think. Old Charlian. Fish of Endwalker. Wait, is that, is that old Charlian? They said 25, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wow. Um, I wonder if it always looks like this or not. I, I am stuck. I am stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, I made it out. Okay, yeah, I've been here before. It always has books, but... Oh. Red Seal. That was the thing. It is a mess in here, though. Wow. A very cool mess. I wonder... I just realized maybe I'm an idiot. What? Like, maybe he took his scarf off actually in the place. Wow, he really did drop all his notes, huh? Alright, I mean, that seems like that checks out pretty cleanly. And this one letter is probably here to be like, It is an identifying piece, right? Instead of just being like, I don't know, it's a mess. Who is supposed to clean this up? Alright, I'm going to actually take a look quickly at uh, the mollusk room again. Uh, not only do I need to speak with uh, the inspector, I also realize that maybe, just maybe... Hmm. <laughs> this is the scene of the crim, is it not? Hmm. This does seem to be kind of a warm room. Look how warm this room is. Uh, I should probably read these. Uh, yes, it's free snacks. Uh, Dear Cece, how can I help you in your investigation? Read the same question, and I said, I was simply checking if Mako's scarf might have been left here, if you understand my meaning. After all, it is one of the warmer rooms. I could very well understand needing to take it off there. But unless you have seen it, I certainly cannot. As such. Can I ask if you saw the print? 
Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> I did not steal the <laughs> steal the print. I was at a costume party, hence the horrifically itchy headgear. I can't remove. All right. Uh, I certainly cannot. Uh, unless you have seen the scarf. It is seeming unlikely. But I still haven't been able to verify Mako's alibi. So, unless I am unable to verify the final suspect's alibi, they are my top suspect so far. I think it was Marguerite or something. I haven't spoken with them, but heard their name in passing a few times. Uh, they did actually just mention the rooms, uh, which were... Do, 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 do. Someone was asking 6, 8, 24, and 28. So I think the absence of something can be just as strong evidence as the inclusion of something. Yes. Mm -hmm. As my father once said, if something doesn't line with an alibi, it should be looked at harder. Yes. He was not good at giving advice. Hmm. Uh, I need to go check out that last room. Regardless. I'm off to find my final suspect. Slash wave. All right. Haha. -ha. So. <sighs> they mentioned 28, which is the Fish of Thavnir room 2. Yes. Oh, who are you? Is this just a person? Jenna Marie, a big fish. A lot of people here are big fish. Go figure. Uh... Oh, Margaret Barbeau. Uh, I met him today. And I don't really wish to meet him again. He was incredibly rude. Hello. Are you the Margaret I've heard mention of? Are you the Margaret I've heard mention of? While investigating Michael, they briefly mentioned Dr. Barbeau, along the same vein, when you were discussing purchasing the shark from Dr. Mr. Mako, do you recall him wearing a scarf? Ah, very fun. Uh, investigating Mako, they briefly mentioned um, a short conversation uh, between you and them. Um, oh, I see. This line of questioning is underway. Margaret Bobo, we were speaking about hog sharks. I was trying to get him to hear out my offer to buy the one he's using for research, but no, I don't believe he wore a scarf. I have been over this, over, all over at this point, rooms about fish in the ocean rooms with sharks. That god-awful touch room. Oh, the touch room. I'll have to take a look at that one. It's an incredibly horrid one. It was awful to work with. Hmm. Well, oh, investigating Mako, they briefly mentioned a short conversation between you and them. Oh, I see the same question is underway. Uh, what brought you to the aquarium today? If I may ask. I know you said before that you had no interest in the print only live fish. Uh, the print only live fish. But if you were to put value on the print, what would you say it would be worth? I feel bad just like dumping questions on people like this, but eh, what are you going to do? I don't really know this room. It's pretty. This one came out later, I think. I don't think I've actually did, like seen this room. Huh. It's it's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna look at the, the book. Sorry, I don't mean to get in your way. I just wanna look at the book. 
Uh, Vidya to that, Ras, Fate's Design, Green Sword Tail, Forge Flame, Handy Ham Sacks. Wow, a lot of stuff in here. All right, sorry, let me back up. Well, I am most familiar with the price of artwork. So, if I were to estimate based off of that, a fish print must be worth less than a well-made piece of artwork, but more than the easy, low-effort art the commoners buy. Lovely. Slash think. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at me doing a think. So, I don't know about motive so far. Apologies, Dr. Bobo. I think you may have missed my question. I was pondering which rooms you have been in this fine evening. I only came here so I could study the value of the fish here properly. But that plan has gone almost literally down the drain with my journal. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I did a slash shock. All over, as said. I spent a lot of time with the touch room, but now I'm stuck here. Ah, that's why they mentioned the touch room. Very good. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that's so fun. Dr. Bravo, Jeweled Carp mentioned running into you earlier as well. Did you both speak at all and about anything in particular? My journal got lost in the fish pool. Oh my! Um... Is it all right if I ask its contents? Uh, nothing uh, specific, just its use, I suppose. I was in the last ocean fishing room. I don't think I was in any of the others. Oh, when? When were you in the ocean fishing room? The ocean fishing room? When was that? Before losing your journal? Or after? Well, I tried to talk to Jeweled Carp. I wanted to know how she was doing, but she went out of the room very quickly without even saying hello. Hmm. Also, the floor looks great, by the way. <laughs> it does look really good. Uh, the ocean fishing room, when was that? Before losing your journal or after? I asked two questions, so... Oh, hello. Oh, it was before, and I was using the journal to write down the names of prized fish. Hmm. I'll need to take a look there, then. Thank you so much. Probably be back later. We are. She escorted me around Ishgard once and saved my wallet from being stolen. I'll do a slap. A quick wave. Always nice. Ta-da! Alright. Woo! But it's like she doesn't even want to acknowledge me. How rude. I see. And how much do you know about her ex-husband? I haven't looked into that. I don't care about that. It's not important. I mean, it's maybe important to somebody. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's important to you. Anyway. Touch tank exhibit. Let's take a look. There is a journal inside of your head. All right. So, they mentioned dropping it into one of the pools. Don't know how something like that would be done. Uh, that is a book, after all. There it is. Hmm. Well, honestly, I think it was them. Now, everybody has something that places them somewhere, but... They could be giving me the runaround. It's really hard to say. Especially though with Margaret saying he wasn't even wearing a scarf. Makes me wonder. Then again, I'm not sure when such a thing might have happened. I haven't really figured out the timeline yet. Right? Like, okay, she was here. And before she was here, she was in the fish room. Which, I believe this was the last room she was in. Or the ocean fishing room, I should say. So, I haven't fully figured out the timeline, but I do believe 
that we have our culprit. I want to see Fish of the Ruby Sea 3 while I'm here. I like the aquarium. That's the important thing to remember about all this. Whoa, cool. Oh, dang. Look at this place. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that guy. Oh, a little snub nose. Oh, look at that thing. That's cool. All right, well, I, I that was just for me. Hmm. Now, I think some folks mentioned being in the lobby at one point. I don't think that really matters, but oh. Sorry, wrong room. I meant to do the leave the private chambers. Who is hosting right now? This is not a person, right? This is like, yeah. Are you hosting? Riku of Mist Warden. I recognize your name. All right. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Kekamano Ninamano. Hmm. Very good. Woo. Who's down here? Oh, is nobody here at the bar? No, they're not. Okay, interesting. I don't want to just ask, hey, am I right? That feels silly. But also, I, I feel like I'm done. I can't believe I just guessed the first room. <laughs> like, I didn't know what room to go to the first time. I just was like, hi. And they're like, hi, I'm, I'm one of the suspects. I was like, oh, cool, sweet. Let's see, what are investigators doing here? Wow, a lot of, a lot of spookums in here. Hmm. Right, Jeweled Carp says, Well, Finn brushed past me to head somewhere further down the hallway. I'm not sure what room exactly, though. Just that it was in the latter half of the aquarium. Macaroni Karma go near Ocean Fishing 2 while on my way to Prism Lake. Well, I see where the voice and it wasn't amicable. I was trying to be nice and offer uh, to carry his tones, but he was insistent he didn't need my help. Sure. Sort of devolved into a heated argument from there. Accusations of the other moving on, so on and so forth. Near Ocean Fishing. They can figure that out. <sighs> they just said they bumped into their carbuncle on their way to the Prism Lake, and Prism Lake is where they were at the time of the event, presumably. Um. Hmm. Just their carbuncle. I didn't actually see them in Archer Fishing 2. You might be able to find clues related to their alibi in the room itself, though. Hmm. I have found nothing in that room. Except for, possibly, the print. I'm going to take a look at the print again. The funny thing is, if they did have the scarf and they stashed it there... Hmm... Feel free to ask any questions you have. I'm happy to reach our territory to help you investigators clear my name. Who's this? I think I recognize this guy. Yeah, it's Roger's Dragon! I know you! That's really funny. Good, good Halloween outfit. Hmm. The theft did happen while I was in the Prism Lake room. Hmm. Um, excuse me. I was told here I might get some answers about the missing snail, and I figure that might be a nice moment to ask about it since... It's food source of emulsia, according to that one bloke, Finn. Hmm. I feel like this is the print, right? That's the joke. It's not a joke, but like, they stashed it here. The thing is, if they did actually stash it here, then like, they're not actually lying about being in here? And that seems weird, right? Maybe I'll have to ask them a few more questions about like, where did they come from when they went to Ocean Fishing 2? Hmm. Shark encounter. It's a plush of a shark. I believe they're mass produced. Very cute, however. Tr true. I didn't mean to examine you. 
Hello again. I was wondering where you came from before you made your way to Ocean Fishing 2. I was wondering where you came from before you made your way to Ocean Fishing 2. And let me confirm. Um, that was the last room you were in before relocated here for the investigation question mark i would love to enlighten you and you many sharks around here was it gone i was wondering where you came from before you made your way believe me you've enlightened me enough oh very good that's amazing I'm going to say that I have yet to verify your alibi. It would very much be in your best interest to... Um, I don't want to say that. I wandered to a variety of exhibits, but yes, I was in Ocean Fishing 2 when the crime was reported. Red Herring rounded us up for questioning, and then I was asked to stay here until the crime was solved. But that would have been after, because it wasn't until Innes reported the crime, right? Therefore... Hi there, I went to retrieve your scarf, but memory failed me. What color was it again? That is what I asked earlier. A light blue. Ah, okay. It was a light blue, which makes sense. I think I might check the other rooms. Prism leg, da 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 da, -da all those rooms. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, ah, yes, of course. Thank you. I'll be sure to give the room a thorough investigation. Alright. I think I'm right. I think it's them. But I don't know it's them. Um, were you ever a part from cheese during the evening. I have a report from someone who apparently saw them, but not you, curiously. Hello, the Chippenmora has arrived a bit late, if you don't mind. Where were you during the crime, and where did you possibly lose your scarf? I did lose a scarf. It is probably in Ocean Fishing 2, where I was inspecting the funnel shark when the crime was reported. Right, the other person asked about the whole scarf thing, because they just showed up, and they're like, what's going on? Yeah. The thing is, I can verify everyone in each location, except, as for Cheese, she has been following me to every exhibit I have visited here at the aquarium, but she does wander around on her own at times. That does make sense that they might be outside the door, right? That's possible. On my way there, I saw them outside the door. They were inside. But that puts them inside before the crime, right? That puts you near Ocean Fishing 2 prior to the event. Not during. Do you know how long you were in Ocean Fishing 2 for? Approximately, of course. Earlier you mentioned simply verifying its mundanity. Verifying the funnel shark's mundanity would that take long? I saw all the others at one point or another in the aquarium, but only spoke to Margaret. Oh, okay. hmm. Earlier, you mentioned simply verifying the shark's mundanity. Would that take long? 
I'm very passionate about sharks, but I do have some interest in other aquatic creatures and learning in general. In fact, I attended several of Inessa's lectures back when he was in Shalian. In my mind, this might even be a ransom, which is silly. Have you ever offended Margaret in any way? She seems to think you quite rude. Eh, she thinks everyone's rude. I still think it's them. I think they did it. I don't know why, though. It took a considerable amount of time in ocean fishing to verify and beyond a shadow of doubt that it was a regular funnel shark. Hmm. That does um make sense. Are you sure you still had your scarf when you were there? Attempted to buy the form small shark off of me. For a collection, she did not take no for an answer, which seemed quite suspicious to me. She, she apparently did take no for an answer. Um, I have been all over that room and yet to find it myself. <sighs> hmm. I mean. I mean, that checks out, though, right? Like, I didn't know it was light blue, however, so it is possible. Just, like, the fact that they're the only one I can't spot is, like, a really, really weird sitch. But I guess it's possible that, like, I don't know. I think they were here is the weird thing. Wait, that's not the scarf, is it? Wait, that's not the scarf, is it? Is that the scarf? That can't be the scarf, right? However, that is definitely a fish print. And you know what? The fact that they didn't verify that's always been there really makes me think that it is the 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 snail right because and i know this is metagaming but shut up like when you go hey is this a thing that's a clue they're very quick to be like that's not a clue sorry that's just what the place looks like do you know what i mean and yet nobody was like actually yes that's totally always been there don't don't look into that that's that's a waste of your time right they're usually pretty good about doing that so I think that might be it. That said, that does kind of look like a scarf. Hmm. All right, Mako, I've taken another good hard look at the ocean fishing two. Oh, should change that. At the ocean fishing two room, and I finally found something that might might be your scarf. But I really couldn't get a good look at it. It was very awkwardly tucked behind a shelf, which I suppose could have been dropped if you were behind there, but otherwise doesn't seem to be somewhere you'd set it down intentionally. Likely, I am noticing the wrong thing so to help me understand are there any notable features of your scar other than the color question mark i'm so confused <laughs> I would guess that what you found is my scarf, though I cannot verify for myself. Hmm. Ava here has been asked to ensure I 
do not leave this room. <gasps> I'm the one who should be complaining. This is the, the like, staff who's just here. One too many shark tangents. You're right. It is best for this crime just that I stay here, despite the fact that I am innocent. Well. Well, I can't reach the scarf. I do think I can place you in that room. I am not sure, however, if that is good for you. For your alibi. I might be back. I'm not sure. For the sake of other players, you request their staff members. Are gonna... Can I reply? Is that a thing I can do? I don't know how to reply. Hmm. So they said to me, uh, for the sake of other players, we request to make access to staff members. There's going to be some some sort of denouement later, however. Yes. I'm gonna go talk to Bruce next. Well, Inspector, I have a theory, but I really can't confirm it. I'm sure you will solve the case. Here's what I can tell you. Insert me, like, telling you what I found and stuff. I'd rather make, uh, I, I'd be ready to make a guess, but I don't think I can actually whisper on trial. Either way, I'm happy saying I have a theory and I've disclosed it to the inspector. With which, they can use it to properly investigate and accuse the suspect. I'm sure random guests aren't actually accusing people after all. And, of course, I'm just here for fun, not to actually win anything. Uh, Argus Ives says, does the aquarium have... Any other copies of the print, perchance? I may have seen something, but I'm not sure if it's the correct picture. The print looks like the one in the middle here, to the left, but it's on a more ornate piece of paper. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. It does look very similar. Wait, to the left? What do you mean by the left? It looks like the one in the middle here, to my left. Oh, okay, so it is the one in the middle. Yes! That is also what I was thinking. I did happen to spot the print quite like that on a wall in a certain room. I can't believe I actually found their scarf. And yeah, it's like, why would their scarf be there? Well, they it fell off when they were doing something stupid, that's what. And why was Cheese there? Cheese was standing guard. That's what they were doing. If you think you know the thief is, you can check with the volunteers at the table outside the building to the left. Do you know when and where he will be announcing his verdict? The verdict will be announced in the aquarium basement, closer to the hour. Yes. Okay. Very good. I will enjoy the sandbar until then slash bow slash wave if you think you know the culprit be sure to check with the volunteers to the left and whisper them your guests and the snail print location i don't think i can whisper on free trial i can confirm your guests in party chat all right, this is how I did it last year. I forgot. Um, I believe Mako took the print, stashed it in the ocean fishing two room with cheese watching the 
door while they were inside. They did actually drop their scarf, but in a place they had no reason to be unless they were hiding the print as it appears to be right next to it. I don't have the motive though. I don't know. Maybe they will ransom it back to Inisa after this blows over. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to leave the party. We didn't lean as much on motive this year, focusing on room and the culprit instead. You did great. I overthought it last year, and I did it again this time too. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming to solve our crime. Slash bow, slash salute. All right, great. Oh, other folks are also here waiting. Hello. Okay, here they come. There they are. Hello again. I did not get your name, Mrs. Okay, so the yellow text should be actual stuff unless someone's misspeaking. Can we have more shark facts in the lobby while we wait? <laughs> I'm Vixen, but you can call me Vix. <laughs> That's so funny. I shouldn't be reading other people's dialogue, probably. They're like real people. <laughs> Ugh, not the shark facts. <laughs> Wrong, your dragon did it. <laughs> hmm, I don't see Finn. Mateus waves to jeweled carp. Absolutely, although whether this next one is related to sharks is questionable. I think cheese. We will be concluding tonight. Oh, there's so much text. We'll be, conclu be concluding tonight's events momentarily. Please make your final guesses with the volunteers outside beforehand if you would like a chance at a prize. A oh, prize, that was the phrase. The largest fish we know. Can I stop it from scrolling? Is that a thing I can do? Ah. The largest fish we know of is named Problematicus. It's true. Largely because the forum is still not certain how to classify the species despite extensive debate. In many ways, it is similar to basking in funnel sharks, but its sheer size, strange anatomy, and ability to survive in magma are so unusual that some of my fellow scholars refuse to believe it is even a real species. Nonetheless, I think it is possible that the species will eventually be classified as a shark, though. Though I myself have never been allowed to study a specimen, and I cannot speak with any authority on the subject. Problematicus is said to grow up to 1,062.8 ilm in length, nearly double the size of any other shark. Problematicus, that's such a silly name. It is vaguely possible that Inis' work in the lava snails, or on lava snails, could provide some insights into how both species survive in such intense environments. Ooh, there's, there's, um, pretty, the inspector. Well, it's difficult to catch them if only because it requires going near hot magma. Okay, I, very interesting facts, but I need to be up to date. I don't want to be lagging behind. Ah, uh, the married couple. Finn did it. J Jules. D divorced couple. You're getting there, macaroni. I noticed that before. Yeah, Jules Carp referred to um, Mako as macaroni. 
Macaroni and cheese. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hi, Cheese. This is who you settled on, settled for, Jeweled? X married. Ease him in. Uh, Finn, Pat, Topaz. I need to give everyone a voice for this to, like, work, because there's just people talking, and unless you're looking at the tiny chat in the corner of your video, um, very difficult. <laughs> Why'd you do it, Rogger? Uh, Rogger's, like, a member of the, the staff. <laughs> Julie Carp. Settled? I by no means settled. So it brings an elephant around these parts. No. I don't know what's going on anymore. Can I clap like this or will I stand up if I do that? Oh well, whatever. You never told me you married at all! Or Margaret and, uh, Jewel the thing, maybe? Mm hmm. He's not even rich. Finn is a stand-up gentleman, I'll have you know. Very kind and gentlemanly. He cared a lot for me. I don't even know you. Oh, that was, that was Finn. Oh, come on, car. I'm doing something here. What's this about divorce? You. If you would like to see the reveal of the culprit, please make your way down to the basement and have a seat. Oh, God, I accidentally stood up. <laughs> All right, where is everyone? They're back there still. Yes, everyone's still back there. You can see them, the four of them over there, plus cheese, of course. Love you, pretty. <laughs> Say sus. Shouts. After this is all over, Finn, would you like to have a little chat about everything? Maybe now that you've delivered those papers or something, we can try can try to have that chat from earlier. Yes, I believe I owe you an apology, Jules. I feel like I should be looking at them if I'm reading their text, but like... They're just having a conversation in the back of the room. And I, you. Love is real! Hey Finn, if you need a couch to crash on, mine's available. <laughs> is that what you think? Oh, who's Kekamano? Oh, that's one of the staff, right? No. You were trying to help. Mewage. Oh, this room's so full. I love it. It's so cool. It was like a pretty good shot. Look at that. Wait, why are people having health bars? That's weird. They didn't even let you... Even let you know. What? They didn't even let you know. No. They didn't even let me try to give them exorbitant bribes, or fines. You know, traitors, forfend. Don't offer me a place to stay in front of my ex. All this and now heresy in my face, too. You do look quite a bit stronger than they last met. What's going on? I do like the haircut. And that bow! Have you taken up archery? I have! Oh, they're, they're going up on stage now. Great. Ah, yes, Fruity shouts, Would Jeweled, Finn, Margaret, and Maiko please come up to the stage? I knew the rumors of a divorce couldn't be true. Finn, I haven't forgotten, fought in a chance to say this, uh, gotten a chance to say this, but I'm so glad you have such enduring love. Everyone here? Good. All right, we're starting. Let's see how quickly I can read. Thank you for your patience this evening, as we sorted this out. Everyone's clapping. Nice. You're not welcome. And thank you, everyone, for your help determining the suspect. Truly, world-renowned investigators. <laughs> Cheese MVP. Now, let's talk about the suspects. Someone in the audience got trained by the best inspector. It's funny. Finn here. You had a good motivation to be here. You ran into your ex-wife, you were upset, and you had a critical mission to complete. Jude Carp shrugs at Finn. Finn Bourne, I guess. I didn't. 
ever learn their last name. But you were clean. Well, sort of. You made a mess of the Fish of Endwalker room, and I'll ask you to clean that up before you leave, but you did not steal the Ignis Horn. Finn Bourne looks at Fruity Snacks in shock. I knew Finn didn't do it! Margaret, on the other hand, you've had a whole year to plan this. Huh? Margaret? People in the uh, peanut gallery... Excuse me? Mako nods in agreement. Oh, Mags, you didn't think anyone did it, did you? Don't she win too? Too clumsy. You had the motive, wanting to be the highest standing in Ishgardian nobility. Yet you were scared by fish and dropped your journal in the touch tank. I wouldn't be shocked if she did it, if I'm being honest. You never were very good at cleaning up after yourself, Finn, dear. Oh, wait, that's such a jeweled card. Damn, Margaret. I did not drop it. It was stolen. You, you told me you dropped it, I thought. Whatever. But she's so pretty. I thought she was instant for sure. The ink did cause some illness in the fish. Oh, dang, I didn't get read fast enough. Uh, were you trying to... Were you using it to poison them? But you did not steal the print. I was told it was high quality. Jeweled! Oh, is Jeweled saying something? I don't know. Or maybe they're just like moving on to Jeweled. Yeah, yeah. Y yes? I don't know why I gave her that voice. Sorry. Sorry, Jeweled. Ah, uh, no wonder he wanted to distract us with shark facts. Blech. Leave Jeweled alone! I do love that everyone has like in world style names for the suspects. It's like how you could really tell who's a suspect and who's a player. <laughs> That's not entirely true, actually. Are the sick fish okay? You can't even see me. I'm behind someone's hat. He was really good at distracting us with shark facts, if it was him. Why are they talking about him? They're talking to Jeweled Carp right now. You can claim Tedis in from the estate. What? You can claim Tedis in from the estate made in the lobby. It got dusty, but you did intact have, in fact have it. Sharks are really cool. Finn, apologize well to her. Uh, yes, sir. Tennis is all right. Praise be to the traitors. The traitors. He is. Well, I'm glad I didn't hire a criminal. And please, I was told. That if you two fight again in the premises, you will be banned. That is a little strike just for fighting. People get in arguments all the time. You did for that other job, Margaret. But that's for later. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. What? Which leaves the last suspect. What other job? Tornado sharks are capable of riding tornadoes through the sky. Some scholars are even... Posited that the creatures create wind aspect and disturbances in the aether in order to travel the skies and to truly astonish the creatures. Cheese. Not cheese. Enough with the shark facts. Oh, wow, it's going fast. Your owner is a pretty bad thief, isn't he? Oh, your owner is a pretty bad thief, isn't he? Not cheese. Cheese? Do we eat cheese now? Wait, really? Not cheese. Cheese is a thief. I knew it. <laughs> Margaret. Just vanquish that thing back to the hells it came from already. Can't trust the carbuncles. Mako, you are under arrest. The theft of the Ignis horn print. Accusing the fellow food named th friend. Get him! Mako? Never trust the shark man. Hey, would a cute face do something that horrid? We recovered it stashed behind the panel in the ocean fishing room, too. I knew it serves you right! Macaroni? <laughs> Please, come with me. You're getting booked. Get it? Get it? Because you're a scholar? Eh? Eh? Yeah, I knew it was! It was too jelly of the snail getting more attention than it sharks! Oh, is he trying to leave? Get going. No, they're, they're, they're walking him out, it looks like. Thank you all! Can you believe
believe this. See you next year. I gotta see where this goes. Well, I guess that's, I guess that's everything. <laughs> Let me go back inside in case there's more to the um, display. Whoa, guys, what did I miss? That's funny. Thank you everyone for coming. Inspector Red Herring was here? Amazing, that's so good. You totally missed the inspector, it was so incredible. Mr. Fruity Snacks, sir, there was a theft of the premises. Is that Fruity Snacks of the Asian Aquarium? Again? That's <laughs> uh, really good. Well, there might be a few more RP lines, but that brings us to the end of this year's All Tanks Wake. I almost forgot what it was called. <laughs> Please be on the lookout for news about our next event, Fish Fest, coming next year. Yay! Clap. I didn't do Fish Fest. I was busy when it happened. Um, but I made this one! Yeah! Alright. Finn did always want a pet when he, we were married. You're welcome to hang out and explore the rest of the aquarium. You're always... We're, we're always open, and you're always welcome. That's right. Malboro. Ward 59. Plot 16. No, the other way around. Ward 16. Plot 59. <laughs> <sighs> All right, and I don't know, it just like fades out here, I guess. Uh, we also have a new building with unique fish exhibits down the road at Plot 47 in this same ward. Oh, cool! I might have to check that out. I don't know why that's there, but I'll check it out. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I need to leave. This could go on forever, and while I'd love to see it, I gotta call it somewhere. I have places I need to be. Until next time. I've been Darcy Bits. Have a good night.